Hey everyone, it's Eli Seption here. Today I'm going to make a small little guide about this little game called Offbeat Journeys. It's a pretty fun PvP JoJo Roblox game, and there's a few mechanics that a lot of new players won't get, so let's get right into it. So first thing you want to keep in mind is that this bar right here at the bottom of the screen that says Ulti Strike is probably one of the things you want to manage the most. If you want to build up that bar, you can do it by, well, hitting people, as you can see here. Or, you can hold G, or whatever button it is on mobile, and it'll let you pose, and it builds up meter. However, this yellow bar here is your stamina bar. The stamina bar can be used whenever you dash with ALT or the appropriate button on mobile or when you block and if someone were to attack me that bar would go down. There's a few things that the bar can be used for. If you're getting hit you can press Q and it'll do a combo break. Otherwise you can also use it for a few of your moves. The first thing you can use it for is for your time stop, which will usually be located on B if you're a computer user. And you can basically do whatever the heck you want here. As you can see. In your time stop, you're basically free to get a combo on them and do whatever you want. However, keep in mind that if they use their own time stop right before you do, you'll be countered and they'll be able to attack you if you aren't careful. So keep in mind and watch out for their animation if you do your time stop. Another thing your ultimate bar can be used for is, well, your ultimate. You can perform it by pressing X and usually it'll be a short dash followed by your ultimate. For the world, it's this animation. Every ultimate functions basically the same. It'll be a dash move that plays a short cutscene. Sometimes you'll be able to combo after it, sometimes you won't. Final thing to talk about is about combos. So, you can perform a basic combo by just pressing M1 and it'll do your light attack. You don't really want to do your heavy attack unless they're blocking your M2 button. It'll play that short animation and it does decent damage but it has no stun on it so if you use it your opponent can immediately attack back at you. You can use it in time stop for extra damage though. A simple combo for most stands will usually be 3M1s, hold E, do more M1s, and then use whatever attacks you want after. Sometimes it'll lag a bit, but either way, this has been a pretty basic guide, and hopefully it'll help some of you guys get started. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like, and um, yeah, see you guys in the next one.